After you complete your mind map, you should reorganize your ideas in an outline, as it better resembles the form your ideas will appear in your actual composition. After completing an outline, you can clearly see how one idea flows into the next. If there does not appear to be a good flow to your ideas, you may want to consider reorganizing them. The outline can also show if you have too many or not enough details in your piece. You can also refine your ideas at any step in this process. After you plan your ideas, the next step is the drafting process. Drafting is the beginning of the actual writing phase. While drafting, you take the ideas from pre-writing and put them into a well-structured composition according to your outline. During the drafting phase, think about the organization of your composition as well as the structure and content of each individual paragraph. Before you start drafting your essay, you should consider its organizational structure. There are a number of ways to organize an essay. Cause and effect organization explains processes and follows up with the results of those processes. Compare and contrast highlights the similarities and differences between ideas. A description essay explains the characteristics of a topic. Division and classification essays group specific ideas into specific categories. A problem and solution essay presents a problem and explains how to solve that problem. A process essay presents information step by step. A sequential order essay presents information in the order in which it occurred. One way to ensure the proper organizational structure is to use specific transitional words and phrases. Certain writing styles have certain transitional words that work better for that structure. Not all organizational structures are appropriate for all types of essays.